Hey everyone, my name is Olaf and today I'm going to show you how to make this pie chart animation in Blender. It's not going to be very complicated, we're not going to use any kind of um, complicated node setups and if you have any questions during the tutorial you can just leave them in the comments. So uh, let's get started. Okay, so let's start off by switching from Blend Render to Cycles Render. And then click X to delete the default cube. And then click Shift A and add a plane. Left click to confirm after scaling with S. And then click Shift A again and add a cylinder. We're going to increase the amount of vertices to 100 because we're going to have 100%. And then switch to Triangle Fan so that when you go into edit mode now, you will see that the top face is also uh, subdivided, which is important for our um, slices. Okay, S then set to scale it on the z-axis, and G then set to grab it on the z-axis. Okay, so now we have the basic pie chart, so now I'm going to start adding the basic lighting. So let's uh, go to the lamp, switch to sun, and then increase the size to 1. Click Use Nodes and increase the strength to 5 or more. Click G to grab the sun. Click R to rotate. And then click R, then Set to rotate it on the Z axis. If you want to see what it looks like in rendered view, just click Shift Set. Okay, now it's time to add the materials to the object. So select the cylinder and then go to Materials. And then click New to add a new material and then switch from Diffuse to Mixed Shader because we're going to animate the transition between one color to the other one. So uh, the first one is going to be a Diffuse material and it's going to be blue because that's the first uh, color of our uh, pie chart. And then the other shader is going to be uh, a Diffuse material as well but this one is going to be white because the animation is going to start off by being white. Now let's just change the material name to blue and then shift set for rendered view and if you change the factor value you can see that it transitions from blue to white and that's what we're going to animate using keyframes later on in the tutorial but first we need to add more colors so let's click uh, plus and then add the blue color and we're going to duplicate it by clicking the plus sign and then changing the name to orange because the next color is going to be orange and then we need to change the color to orange something like this by the way I'm not going to assign the colors uh, until later so let's just add the last color before we start assigning the colors so just use the orange material again and then copy it and give it a new name which is going to be green which is our last material and then change the color to green something like this you can give it whatever color you want by the way the colors and the values that we use in this tutorial doesn't really matter because this is just a tutorial to show you how to make your own diagram so just uh, add whatever colors and numbers you want to add so let's click number 7 to go to the top view number 5 to go to the orthographic view and then click set for the wireframe uh, view and then we're going to uh, assign the orange color to the part of the uh, pie chart that we want to assign it to. So um, I'm going to give the orange color 12%, the green color 24% and the blue color 64%. So first for orange we need to select 12 out of 100 faces. So click e A to uh, deselect everything and then click C to circle select and then select 12 faces. First you need to do it on the outside and just make sure to count and then do it on the inside. And then when you are done selecting you can just go to the top and click assign. And when you go back to rendered mode you will see that we now have the orange color on um, 12 out of 100 faces which is 12% obviously. And then I'm going to select the uh, green color and we're going to start assigning the uh, green color to the faces. So A to deselect everything and then, and then use C to circle select once again and select 24 faces. Um, oh 
OK, and then you select the inside and you click Assign to assign the green color. And as you can see in rendered view, all of the colors are correctly assigned to the pie chart. So what I'm going to do next is to go, go back to edit mode and I'm going to make the edges of the cylinder uh, even smoother. And I'm going to do that by going to edge select and select the whole two circles of the cylinder like this and then select the second one and then click N to go into the properties and increase the mean crease value to 1 so that when we uh, add the subdivision surface modifier these edges are still going to stay flat while the rest of the object is uh, getting smoother and more high poly. And before we go on with the tutorial I'm going to set up the camera so a numpad 0 to go into the camera and then click shift F to use the fly cam. So you move around with W, A, S and D just like in a video game and then you can find the position that you want to have for your camera. You can also add gravity to your fly cam by using tab. That way you can just walk around the scene. So just find the position that you want to have in the scene and then left click to confirm the camera position. So something like this left click to confirm and shift set to see what it looks like in rendered mode or rendered view and let's just add a material for the floor as well so new material let's just name it floor and then switch the material from diffuse to glossy and increase the roughness to let's say point about point three and then make the color a little bit darker but as always, the colors doesn't really matter for the um, tutorial, so just get whatever color you want. I'm going to save the uh, file for the first time, so give it a name. And then click enter to save. Okay, so the next step in this tutorial is to add the text. So um, I'm going to add the uh, percentages on the top of the cylinder. So left click to add a 3D cursor and left click on top of the cylinder and then you're going to click shift a and add the text so click r then x then 90 to rotate the text 90 degrees on the x-axis and then click r then set to rotate it on the z-axis s to scale it down and then click g then shift set to only grab it on the x and the y-axis and then go into edit mode to edit the text and write in 12 percent or a different value if you have a uh, different pie chart. So let's scale it down using S and move it around with G then shift set once again and I'm going to scale it down even more so something like this. Okay so let's add a material for the text and once again we're going to use a mix shader because we're going to animate the transition from a glossy material to a uh, transparent material. So um, let's select the first one and this one is going to be the glossy material and it's just going to be a very basic glass material. So um, I'm going to make the roughness zero and then make the color a little bit darker. So something like this. And then the second shader is going to be the transparent shader. So um, it's going to start off in the animation by being uh, transparent. Then we're going to get uh, get to see the 12% text. So let's call this one percentage orange. And then I'm going to duplicate this text. So click Shift D to duplicate, and then click G, then Shift Set to only grab it on the X and Y axis once again. And then we need to add a new material for this text. It's kind of the same technique as we used earlier, where we just copy the same material from earlier and then uh, just change it. So we're just going to uh, use the orange material and then click plus and then give it a new name, which is going to be uh, green, percentage green. 
but this time we're actually not going to change anything because the text is going to have the same color so um, as you can see it's going to uh, be animated separately because uh, they're going to appear um, separately so let's change the text to 24 percent and then click shift D again and grab it on the X and Y axis using shift set and let's change the position a little bit on the X and Y axis so I think this looks good so let's add a new material and this one is going to be percentage blue and let's try it out as you can see we can also animate this one separately and let's change the text to 64 percent okay before I add the text below I'm just going to save the file and give it a separate name so that they become two different files and then left click to move the 3d cursor down below the other text and click shift a and add the text so click R, then X, then 90 to rotate the text 90 degrees on the X axis. Click R set to rotate it on the Z axis. Click G, then shift set to only grab it on the X and Y axis. And then click um, tab to go into edit mode. I'm going to name the orange slice A just as an example. And then I'm going to rotate it a little bit downwards or backwards actually by using R because I think it looks better in the final render yeah so something like this and click G then shift set again to uh, move it around on the uh, set X and Y axis so let's add the first material this is going to be the A material and add a mix shader because we're going to animate this text as well so uh, the first material is going to be a diffuse material it's just going to be white and then the next shader is going to be transparent because it's going to the text is going to appear in the animation as you saw in the final render and then click shift D to duplicate the text I'm going to speed up this part because by now you should know how to duplicate a material and an object and then add a new material for the new object or a new separate material for the new object and I'm also going to scale up the C in the background because it's it, it looks kind of small if it's the same size uh, all the way in the back okay so now you have the result that you saw in the thumbnail and now it's time to start animating it so let's just save one more time the next step is to increase the factor value to 1 and then click I to keyframe on all of the different materials so increase the value to 1 and then click I to keyframe and as you know when the factor value is 1 in uh, this animation they will either be uh, transparent or white because uh, that's the second material so let's do the same for the colors as you can see they're now all white as well as the blue one the next step is to go to the frame where we want the uh, animation transition to start so let's go to uh, frame 20 and this is the frame where the uh, orange piece will start turning orange and the A letter is going to start turning white from being transparent so click I um, on the value and then go to frame 30 and then decrease the value to 1 and then click I to keyframe and do the same for the A letter and and when the uh, orange color and the A letter has uh, appeared, we're also going to uh, make the 12% uh, uh, text start to appear. So we're going to move five frames forward and then click I again to keyframe. And if you go into rendered mode now, you can see what the animation looks like. It's going to start off by uh, showing the A letter and the orange color. And once they have appeared completely, the 12% uh, text will show up. Okay, I'm going to show you one more time how to do it in uh, normal speed for the green part of the uh, pie chart, but then I'm going to speed up the rest of it. So let's keyframe, click I to keyframe, and 
Then you want to do the same for the uh, green part. So click I to keyframe again on the factor. And then go 10 frames forward to 55. And then decrease the value to 0. And click I. And do the same for the uh, B. So click I again on 0. And when these two have appeared, we're going to make the uh, text appear. So the 24% um, text is going to appear afterwards. So click I to keyframe, and then go uh, five frames forward to frame 60, and then decrease the value to zero, and click I to keyframe. Okay, so for the last slice, we're going to go uh, 10 frames forward before we start the uh, transition animation. So let's go to frame 70. And then select the uh, cylinder and keyframe the value on the uh, blue material. And then do the same for the C value and then go 10 frames forward and decrease the value to zero and click I to keyframe. And do the same for the uh, blue color. And then keyframe the 64% uh, text. And then decrease the value to zero and keyframe again. Okay, so now the animation is basically done. If you go into rendered mode, you will see that uh, it works. And it looks just like in the final animation. So now we're just going to make some small adjustments in the scene before we start the render. And I'm also going to show you how to render out an animation. Okay, so let's save the file one more time. So PyTutorial 4. And what I'm going to do next is to add some thickness to the text. And if you don't mind, you can just skip this part because uh, you can't really see it from this viewpoint. It's more uh, for people who want to animate the camera and look around because when you see what it looks like from the back, it doesn't really have any thickness at all. So I'm just going to add a modifier, which is a solidify modifier, and change the value to 0 0.02 so that it has some uh, thickness. And do the same for all of the letters so that they actually look uh, three dimensional, which is important for uh, an animation with a moving camera. And as you can see, we get kind of these holes in the scene. So I think we need to move these upwards on the set axis. So click G, then set to move them on the set axis so that they don't res uh, disrupt the scene when they are uh, transparent. Okay, so now it's time to start changing the render settings. So click the camera icon, increase the uh, resolution quality to 100%. I'm going to change the frame rate to 30 frames per second. And then I'm going to um, increase the sample value to, uh, let's say, 250. And before we start uh, rendering the animation, I'm just going to make a test render. And as you can see, I actually rendered the first frame. So I need to go back to the 3D view and move to the one of the last frames so that we can see the whole scene. Okay, I'm going to speed up the render and this is what it looks like when it's rendered. I think it looks great, so uh, let's start rendering the animation. And to render the animation, we need an output folder. So we need to click uh, on the folder icon and then make a folder on your computer where all of the uh, PNG files for each frame will be added while you uh, render. So let's just make a new folder for all of these uh, PNG images and name it wherever you want and then give the images a name as well. So I'm just going to name them Pi and then we can click animation and start the render and it's going to take some time so be patient. This is what it looks like when it's rendered. I hope you enjoy the tutorial and I post new tutorials every single week so uh, subscribe. Thank you guys for watching.